Corner. Today we're going to talk about cost savings. I got Tom here with me to help me go through the discussion as to how we might save a little bit of money here at a clean cigarette. All right. What about roll your own cigarettes? The cost of that compared to this. Perfect, perfect. I used to also roll my own and um, there was a tipping point for me. A tipping point when I decided to roll my own cigarettes. And I think anybody that rolls their own essentially reached this tipping point with me. And it was $5 a pack. So as soon as cigarettes became $5 a pack, all of a sudden all the stores had bag tobacco on their shelves. Like overnight, it was crazy. And you had an option then to save a significant amount of money by rolling your own. Uh, it come down to like dollar a pack, dollar twenty-five a pack, right? So I rolled my own. But if cigarettes were two fifty or two twenty-five a pack, I would have never rolled my own. Why would I do that? I started at five dollars a pack. I said that's too much. Here we go. <clears throat> Filter equal to a pack to pack and a half at three fifty. The math that's about two twenty-five for a pack. So if you roll your own. And you wouldn't start rolling your own unless cigarettes cost, you know, I said that wrong. If you started rolling your own when cigarettes cost $5 a pack, this is a pretty easy switch. $2.25 per pack. Forget all the hassle, the mess, all that bullshit that you gotta deal with when you're rolling your own. It um, becomes work. It's a lot of work. A lot yeah. of work. And you didn't make that switch when packs of cigarettes were $2.25. You were happy to pay that. Here we are. Is there a way to save them on money on these? We give you five cents for returns. What about uh, as far as cost goes, buying them? We in bulk buy. Uh, so we start at three fifty. We work our way all the way down to two fifty. Um, buying a brick at two fifty per filter. You also get the free battery and two additional filters at that point. Sounds like a good deal then. It is a good deal. Best you, way to go. You work here. I mean, of course you. Well. <laughs> We're just shooting the shit, that's all we're doing. That's it. That's what you want. Oh, okay, cool. So Santa Claus. What, what else you got for me, Sam? All right. You know, so we got the batteries covered for six to eight months. Think about replacing them, depending yep. on how you use them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a light smoker wouldn't have to do it. I want to go. Your smoker would. Let me go back into the evaporation real quick. Something you want to ask the, the customer is, how do you know your filter is done? And everybody's response is that off taste, okay? At that point, and they, they're gonna respond like that. At that point, I'll rip a cartridge apart in front of them to help me ex explain to them the evaporation, to really show them what's going on. So I'll just break a cartridge apart, a cartridge that was returned to us that's used and deemed that, you know, they got all the liquid out of it, blah, blah, blah. I'll open it up and I'll lay it down. And I'll show them that little burn mark right there, okay? Right. Just to show them what's happening inside the cartridge. All the liquid's gone. There's no liquid left in here. Burn mark, bad hit, you know the cartridge is done. Well, that burn mark is what you're tasting then. Yes, yes. So, with over evaporation, how can we reach that burn mark way too soon? Here's what's happening. Here's your heating element, liquid surrounding there, cotton swab wraps around there. So imagine this is the heat now, now, okay? And this is the liquid right here. This is what medium heat might look like. Take a hit, liquid expands away from the heat now, now, right? 20 to 30 seconds later, comes back down. Hit, expands away, 20, 30 seconds, comes back down. That's medium heat. Liquid is always in contact with the heat now, now, and that is important. Let's look at high heat. High heat is gonna look like this. Take a hit. So all of a sudden now, you're tasting the let's burn. Say, let's say you're seven, ten hits in and you've, you've approached it on a high heat level. You've expanded all that liquid away and forced it away from the heating element. Now it's going to apply a little burn mark right there because there's no liquid anymore. Eleventh hit, tastes bad. Twelfth hit, tastes bad. Every hit from there on out is going to taste bad. Telling the customer that they got a bump cartridge or something's wrong or they're going to come back in and replace it. Obviously they should. But they need to have the information to understand what is happening there. So go through these things uh, to talk about evaporation and how they can control that. Kind of retrain the customer. Yeah. I've talked to people two, three, four years in, know everything else, but they don't know that. Uh, and that's, that's probably the most important information I can tell a customer, to be quite honest, 
And one of the few things I tell a brand new customer, I don't like to tell brand new customers all kinds of things. They don't need to know everything. They'll too obtain much it. information is too, too I did obtain all this information in one day, and I'm still learning as I go. So I give them the most important information. There's like three or four things I like to hit on. And the evaporation is the most important thing. The evaporation, making sure how to put the battery on the charger properly. Show them how to use the product correctly. I like to let them know if I get the opportunity, it just kind of depends on the conversation I'm having with the customer. If they present me with the opportunity to talk about who we are as a company, I like to give them that too. So they know who they're dealing with. Now, I don't want to force that upon them, you understand? Right. So if it doesn't come up casually in the conversation, I don't I don't bleed out who I am and who that who the company is a clean cigarette. I know that at some point in time when they come back they'll have questions and it'll lead into it and I'll be able to to hit up on that. Well everything sounds great. Sounds like I can do this with you, Aaron. Appreciate everything. Thanks for making it really cheesy. We'll flip that out. <laughs> <laughs>